Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So recently I've been watching a lot of Jackie Aina's videos. I think she's so funny and she's so boss. And I was watching her high-end versus drugstore makeup video. So in this video she basically dupes all high-end to all low-end makeup and literally it looks like she's not even wearing two separate products. She duped them really really well. But the bit I loved from her video is that she rated whether she thinks you should go fine or you should go to the drugstore for makeup and what wins for her and surprisingly enough I think it was the drugstore one. So I'm going to take that from this video. I'm going to try and do a high end and a low end and I'll try and do most of them. But the main concept I want you to take away from this video is if you should be buying high end or low end for your makeup. As you guys know if you've watched my previous video on the power of makeup, the high end edition, I didn't have all high end products so those will be clear drugstore wins because I've never felt like I had to get high end. So just like Jackie we will be keeping score, there will be a little scoreboard so you can see what's winning at the end and what my opinion is whether you should be getting high end or drugstore for these different makeup things. So keep watching guys. I'm starting off my makeup I always like to wear a cream so I'll be doing drugstore on the left hand side of my face and high end on the right hand side of my face. So for drugstore I'm using the new Body Shop Mango Whip Body Lotion and due for that would be the Clarins Hydra Essential Cream. This is just a little sample version I have here. So they're basically really, really creamy and not so jelly, and that's why I think they're dupes for each other. They are both for dry skin, which I have. This one had time to sink into my skin and it just feels nice and plump. Whereas this one feels like my skin just feels tough and horrible. Um, oh god, I don't know. It's not the worst, but I don't think it beats the body shop, so I'm going to have to give this to the drugstore. Next, I do like to go on with a mattifying moisturizer. I've never bought a high end one, I've just never felt the need. I love this Garnier Moisture and Matte Cream. I'm not too big fan of this one. I prefer the older one, but it still does practically the same thing. And it's good because I do have combust skin, I'm dry in some places, which is why I moisturise, and then I'm oily in others, that's why I like to put this MAC cream on as well. tightening up my skin it definitely feels less oily already it also actually really helps my pores which which is what it always used to say on the box it doesn't really say that anymore but i still feel like it does the same thing which is great for me because i have quite enlarged pores so that is yet another drugstore win now the next step is now to do the primer so on my drugstore side i'll be using my barry m flawless original primer and on my high-end side i'll be using my confessional by benefit so I do find that the Barry M1 is more creamier. It made my skin really, really smooth and it definitely helped cover my pores even more. And so now we're going to go in with the Benefit Professional. my pores I just can't even feel them when I run my hands along my skin and it feels smoother it's more of a gelty consistency compared to the Barry M1 I'm definitely going to give this to high end I can't think of a primer that beats professional for me it makes my foundation look smoother and nicer and you just can't see all of these horrible pores I have on my nose and on my cheeks now onto the foundation and the serums that I mix them with for my high end I have got the Kat Von D Locket foundation and I like to mix it with the Darcy and Rose Aromatic Care because it makes this foundation dewy but it's still as heavy as the foundation is on its own. Then for my drugstore I have the Maybelline Dream Setting Liquid and I like to mix this with the L'Oreal Age Perfecting Serum. So I'm just going in with the Maybelline foundation first. One pump. L'Oreal 
that age effect with it. You only need one pound legislator to get the excess off as well. So I really, really love this mix. It leaves my skin feeling really hydrated. It's definitely covered everything. That redness of this spot here is already gone and that's without concealer. So I definitely think this is a great mix. So now I'm just going to go in with my Kat Von D and my Alpin Aloe Mix Rose Aromatica. Again, just one pump is all right. Oh my god, it's so good. So I really love the finishing look of this. It just looks like my skin, but like an improved, healthier version of what I already have. So I'm definitely loving it. For the foundations, I'm gonna have to give this to both of the foundations, both the drugstore and the high end have been really really great they've both got amazing coverage i'm very surprised with this one because a lot of people have used it saying it just did not give them anything i absolutely love this i think it's a really really great buy if you're looking for a dewy foundation i love this as well i love how it can be made dewy with a mixer and i love how it's matte when i want a matte one one day it's just got amazing coverage if you're having a bad skin day you can rely on this foundation to make it even better as for the mixers, I just swear by this Starfine Rose Aromatic Care. This is only a sample size, as a lot of my things are, but it has lasted me so long. Like, it hasn't even gone down by the tiniest bit. You just need one drop, and it makes any foundation you want amazing. It made this dewy, it made it smell good. My face now smells good. My face feels soft and hydrated, and just a lot better than it did before. I do love this serum a lot, it does mix well with any foundation it's brilliant but it doesn't really do anything for your foundation it's just it does stuff for your skin but it's great because when i take my foundation off at the end of the day i don't feel like i've been caked down by it it does help a lot however i must admit i will give this to high end because darfin has really really bossed this product it just leaves your skin feeling so good and healthier and you can just feel it throughout the day it doesn't feel like i'm wearing a foundation and i'm wearing the cat Von D foundation so if that doesn't say anything about it, I don't know what else will. Now moving on to concealer for covering spots and blemishes. For my drugstore I have the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is really really great. I love this concealer. I know a lot of people bash on it but I don't see anything wrong with it. And then for the high end I have the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer Cream which goes perfectly well with the foundation. So we were starting off with the drugstore now. <laughs> spot it worked really really well with the foundation they're a good color mix which is great even though they're from different lines however the products on top of the products are becoming a little bit gritty and 3d and i feel like it's bringing more imperfections out on my skin even though it's covered so now we're going to be using the high-end cat one d <laughs> blended beautifully into the foundation it's just given me an extra layer and it's helped to cover the spots without bringing out anything in my skin so this win is definitely going to go to high end now on to concealer for brightening and highlighting i love the collection lasting perfection concealer it's just creamy and beautiful and full coverage and it just does everything i want in a brightening concealer <laughs> It blended really well onto both sides of my face. It hasn't picked up anything in my skin 
and it's just sunk in beautifully and helped to highlight my face to look a little bit more longer because I think I have quite a round face. So at that point, I can dress the dress on. So for contouring, I will be using the Barry M Chisel Cheeks Contour Kit in uh, shades medium to dark because I didn't stop my shade at the time. And I like to use this bronzy shade to uh, contour with. I don't have any high ends, so this point, again, will be going to drugstore. not too warm, not too horribly muddy and grey toned, it just works really really well for my skin tone. So for eyebrows I have recently moved on to the Freedom Brow Promote, it's the only thing I ever use and again I don't know anything high end for doing this because this works amazingly for me. great colour for me and this doesn't dry out also quickly as well and it's really really cheap so this one definitely definitely goes to the drugstore. Now on to eyeshadow I have the Urban Decay Smoky palette and the Sleek Makeup Eye Divine O Natural palette. Not all colours in here are definitely the same but there are some colours that are really really similar and I will be creating the same eye look using both palettes. This one on this side and this one on this side. Just to let you know before I start, I will be using the Urban Decay Naked Smoky brush because the brush that comes with the Sleek palette is one of those spongy applicator ones and I just don't work with them very well, but I will be comparing the product, not the brush. <laughs> smoky palette and I have to give this point to the high end because the colours just went on a lot easier, it wasn't falling out. This eye got a bit too big, I didn't want it as much but it was just so much product I just had to create something out of it whereas the high end one, it just went on where you wanted it to go, it was matte when I wanted it to be matte because this colour I used in the sleek palette it looked matte, it's got sparkles in it which I hate when products do that. It was just easier to blend together and plus the transitional white shade here is a lot better than the easy one that the sleek palette gives you. Moving on to eyeliner, for my drugstore I have the Berry M Blink Black Waterproof Precision Eyeliner and on the higher end side I'll be using the Ciate Fierce Flix Liner. This isn't usually the eyeliner I use anymore, this Berry M one, but I just want to do similar one because we are trying to dupe as much of these as possible. They have quite similar nibs but as you can see the Ciate one is a little thicker with the Barry M one being a lot more precise and smaller. I'm just going to start off with the Barry M on the left hand side of my face. I 
did struggle so much with going into the eyeshadow, but then it did struggle to pick up a little bit of pigment and it's not as black as the precision liner by Bayam. So I'm gonna give this one to Drugstore. So for mascara primers I have two here. This is the collection clear mascara. As you can tell, it's not really clear anymore, it's disgusting. But it does a good job of separating my lashes. It's not actually a primer, but I like using it as well. And then for my high end, I have the Their Real Tinted Primer by Benefit. So I'm not going to curl my lashes or anything like that. I'm just going to give them a fair test. So we're starting off with the drugstore collection side. ready for me to put a layer of mascara on them. Now we're moving on to the Benefit Their Real Tinted Primer. The exact same thing but it was just a quicker application and it's made my lashes longer. So I will be giving this one to the high end. Now for actual mascara, on the drugstore side I'll be using the Barry M Intense Mascara Black Screen one which I don't think they sell anymore but I do like Barry M mascaras. And then on the high end side I will be using Laura Mercier's mascara, I think it's like the volume one that she does. So we're just going to start out with the Barry M one. <laughs> for every day it's just separating it's lengthening it's voluminous it does everything it says it does it can be a tiny bit clumpy here and there but really it's no big deal so now we're going to be putting the laura mercier on top of the their real primer so that is probably my favorite combination for mascara it's just it's so voluminous but without looking cakey but what i will have to say is that it did get some on my eyeshadow whereas the Barry M one did not so I will be giving that mascara to the high end again now for the eyeliner to go in our waterlines drugstore I have the collection intense color super soft coal liner and the French connection eyeliner that came as part of a gift set from Boots it's the highest end kind of brand I had even though it's not really that expensive so we're just going to start off with the collection eyeliner. The eyeliner, it claims to be like jet black, but it is not at all. I don't know where it gets intense colour from because it really has no colour to it. And also, this will go after like maybe two minutes. It just can't stay in my waterline. I have to set it with an eyeshadow. I hate doing that because the eyeshadow gets into my eye. So I haven't used this in a really long time. Now on to the French connection for the high end side. Eyeliner. It's super easy to use, it's super creamy and it will stay like that for the whole day without setting it at all. So I'm going to give that to the high end side because it just doesn't need setting and it's easier and just quite frankly it's better. Now I'm just going to put each mascara on the bottom lashes on the same side of my and again I have to give that to high end, it was just quicker, easier, it didn't clump, it didn't get on my bottom lid at all. For bronzer I'm going to use my Poundland Makeup Gallery Huda Cabo Matte Bronzer, it really really reminds me of the Huda Bronzer, even though it looks extremely orange right now I am using quite a harsh light to light on my face. It's a beautiful colour, it's not sparkly and it does a really really great job of bronzing my face so this one goes straight away to drugstore. The thing is because it's drugstore and because it's lesser quality it actually works in my favour this time because I don't like a strong bronzer, I don't like to look unnaturally tanned especially during the winter months. This does an amazing job of warming up my face in a really really natural way. Now moving on to blush, I have for the drugstore the number C routine blush and glow in the shade Peachy. I've completely smashed mine but that was my fault, I dropped it and it was quite bad. And then a dupe for that is the Tube Faced Love Blush Long Lasting 16 hour blush in the shade Love Hangover. So they're both really really peachy, really really nice on the cheeks, so I'll be putting them on now. So I'm just going to start off with the number 7 one on the drugstore side of my face. It's giving me an instant pop of colour, I didn't need a second coat, it's not sparkly or half. 
blush or a natural is really, really nice. Now I'm going to use the Too Faced blush. To give this point to both of them, the Too Faced one is definitely a lot harsher and you have to be a lot carefuler with it when you dip your brush in softly. That's the only thing, it can look a little bit harsh, but you just need to learn how to use it. And the number 17 one just gives that lovely natural glow that we all want from a blush. So I'm gonna give this to both of them. So guys, I've left it on for a little over two minutes and we're just going to take this off with a wipe now. In such a fast amount of time, this just leaves my lips feeling hydrated and it just makes wearing any lipstick super, super, super comfortable. For lip pencils, I've got the uh, lip pencil in my Barry M lip kit from the shade Runway. It's a really, really gorgeous pink colour. And then for the drugstore side, I have the MAC pencils, which I compared in my Barium video to Saw. They're really, really similar, and they are both really gorgeous pinks. So we'll start off with the Barry M in Runway. So it's just creamier and easier to apply. These look exactly similar on the hands. So what that tells me is that this is leaving pigment when it goes onto my lips. It's so different on my hands to my lips, whereas that runway one is consistent in bold colour and I love it and it's just easier to put on. So drugstore, you won. Now we are on to our final battle. Drugstore versus high end. We already have a winner at the end of the day. Whoever wins this is drugstore. But we got to compare the last project, right? So for my drugstore, I have the NYX Lingerie in Beds Ton Fleur, which I compared to in a previous video to Kylie Jenner's Candy K. So I'm just going to put these both on my lips and we'll see how they perform. So I'm going to start off with NYX in Beds Ton Fleur. <laughs> is a little too minty for my liking it just doesn't feel like a liquid lipstick which is really weird so when it dries down it's a little bit odd but the color is beautiful the application was pretty easy to be honest despite the applicator so yeah now we're just going to try on candy k on the other side <laughs> just as ever so they're both really really pigmented on top of the lip liner the kylie j one is definitely drying a whole lot quicker it's definitely thinner in consistency it's showing a lot more of the line on my lips than the nyx one is the nyx has actually dried pretty quickly i think the lip liner has helped it this time so i will be giving this one to nyx drugstore you have won so guys i really hope you enjoyed this video what are your thoughts and feelings on drugstore versus high end do you think that high end is always worth it because i personally don't it's the same as jackie Aina. i have definitely found that the drugstore has won by 13 to 10 against high end and there is a good damn reason because do you know what you can't always put a price on quality you've just got to be picky um, but then you have to be picky with high-end as well. There's high-end products that just don't always meet our needs or our wants or our requirements. They just don't do what we expect them to do for the price we're paying. Whereas drugstore, there is just some finds where you think, wow, I only paid a couple of pounds for this and this is the best find I have ever found. See you guys soon. Love ya.